like a general audience, like an outsider, like not outsider, like a general audience, I have a curiosity to know about the film like because we have saw a little teaser and a promotional song kind of video, little one. So it gives me a feeling like 300. Why? Because I've seen one or two special properties and one background and a uh, lot of fears, obviously, NTR. <laughs> and so I want to know more. So who's going to start? So I think it'll be better if uh, yeah. Shiva starts because he's the one behind this idea. It's the most ambitious film I have ever made. Ambitious in the, in, the, in the sense, not in the terms of scale, but in the idea itself. So generally, see, from the inception of commercial cinema, uh, see, fear is always portrayed as a negative emotion. Uh, but sometimes I felt that, you know, even fear is very precious. So everyone need to have fear. So and generally, a hero will be the courage in a commercial cinema to everyone, to a group of people. But I wanted him to be the fear. The, the men in his world don't understand reason. They understand only fear. So I thought he should be the fear in the film. So with this backdrop, obviously, you know, we'll have that kind of visuals, it's words. So that's how the film is being conceived. So you might have felt that, because it's a different world, obviously you'll feel like 300 or Lord of the Rings. So I, for me, that was the main idea which when, when Shiva narrated. See, in commercial mainstream film, you've always had a protagonist coming in rescue for people to give them a lot of courage to move forward. But here it's a very different take. The hero is actually, the protagonist is actually standing against people when there's a lot of courage. So sometimes too much of courage is also bad. So it needs to be a balance. Oh, that, that you're saying it out in the film. Yeah. That's, 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 the, that's the idea. Yes. Pack the film with... I mean, see, sometimes a narration like this can become very preachy. <laughs> it can become very preachy, but... Yeah. Uh, Shiva, with the strength he has on commercial movie, on, on this genre, I think he's, he's, he's packed up with a lot of action. Okay. So it is, it is <coughs> Devra is, is an action drama. Fear being the, the main platform on which the whole movie is built up. So it's a very new world which we've created. Okay. Mentioned when the movie started, it's like it's the forgotten coastal regions of India. So we've placed, geographically placed it in a very mythical world. Okay. Yeah, it's a very fictitious world, obviously. But it looks very close to us. It's like a world we've seen before, but it's again something which we haven't visualized before. The characters, the, 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 the behavioral patterns, the emotions, the drama. It's, it's extremely high on drama and action. So I would probably say that Devra is a action drama. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If you are playing around fear, <laughs> then fear mokai mil gaya na pura. Markard ne kile dost, then it will be great. I mean, I went. I recently visited South Goa. So this one part in South Goa. So one manager came out of the blue and he said he told about the action episodes how you shot, about the tease especially. You know, the 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 crescent moon becomes a full moon with that. So uh, should we talk about the action? More since you said like it's completely laced with action and drama. I mean, I think Saif sir has also been a part of some phenomenal action sequences yeah, we've, yeah. we've done for this movie. They shot some incredibly large um, and violent sequences uh, and uh, it was great fun doing the action. Um, it's also really raw. They got, there, there were some huge pelvans from, um, because <laughs> a lot of the action is about the fights between the heads of four different villages that fight for the ancestral weapons and it's kind of, the sequences I shot involved, you know, um, a blood sacrifice to the gods and, and prayer. And so it was kind of mythologically rooted as well. Um, and then really, you know, uh, physically demanding kind of stuff uh, and, and great action. Sequ we shot a fight for about seven or seven ten, 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 days. Ten, ten days, ten nights, ten nights. Ten nights and, and we still fight. didn't get done with it. <laughs> yeah. 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 For teaser, another, the teaser fight? Is, is it in the teaser? Uh, yeah. um, I think it's a highlight. I, 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 think, I think it's when you see Saif Sir's glimpse. Yeah. 
yeah. part of the glimpse. A part of the glimpse has got that action in it. Yeah. But uh, the running bit. The running bit is also there. Yeah. The, that was shot in. Uh, but the mixture forest. of shooting live in 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 the Goan forest, some amazing locations yes. you found, and uh, and patching that up with studio, you can't even see uh, technically how it's done. Really well pulled off. But Would you rate this as one of your physically most enduring movies you've been a yeah, part of? Yeah, I think it's been you know, one of the most demanding <laughs> films for sure. Uh, and as <laughs> there's a there's a heap of uh, uh, weapons stuck to one mountain kind of yeah. thing. The special shot on that. So, is it too much of a reveal if you talk about that? No, I mean it's 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 not a big reveal, but okay. uh, there's a lot which 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 we've 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 placed a lot of the story on that as well. There's no deity worship, so okay. there is no belief in God as such. Okay. So what they believe is in steel, the ancestral yeah steel, like Conan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They believe in. So, in yeah, like in mid century, this is. This uh, I have no, you said what time it is? Yeah, no, it is in nineties, eighties and nineties. This is set in. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like a little bit of the early 80s and the early 90s or the okay. late 90s. Okay. So it's an 80s and 90s. But a very film. remote place. But a very remote yeah. place, where okay. I mean, I see there are a lot of villages still, especially in South India. Also, I think it's there in North as well. That there's no, they don't worship a god as such. So there are in Telugu we call them uh, Grama Devatal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Hindi, Gram Devata. Gram Devata. Yeah. So it's yeah. like that. So yeah. they worship their ancestral weapons. Yeah. So there is no deity worship at all. So for them, that weapons are the most precious. Okay. I mean, and and they are ready to go to any extent okay. for that for those weapons. But whatever the ritual, you understand that it's a ritual. You're bowing to something. So who you're praying to and all. Um, I mean, it comes through that it is about yes. prayer, yes. and uh, like a kind of tribal. Group, yeah. uh, people will connect emotionally to everything that they're going through because the the basic drive is the same, whether it's greed or it's power or whether it's you know wanting to be the strongest or to control it. In that sense, uh, you know, to give an example of a, another film, even a film like Apocalypto, yeah. yes, sounded like a alien setup, but yeah. then when you saw it, it's just like looking at True. people next door also. Yeah, exactly. Just so the connection is there. Rooted, yeah. But it's a very interesting visual. Uh, the yeah. costumes that we wore. Yeah. The clothes were really basic, yeah. Yeah. and uh, and it's, it's almost like tribal pirates, <laughs> you know, in a way. Exactly. This, this movie, yeah. uh, so it's got its own universe, which mm -hmm. is always nice. The kind of visual palette and yeah. your production designs, yes. Abhusar, yes. and uh, and and you yeah. really presented something that looks stylish and uh, watchable in terms of you know visually, and at the same time emotionally, it's got the yeah. strongest yeah. score ever because it's about. All these basic yes. emotions like yeah. fear and power and True. revenge. Yeah. And, you know. yeah, I think today audiences they're liking when you actually take them into a, a very fictitious New world. Cinema. Yeah. The theaters, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. the so lights yeah. go out. And the, yeah, the and then you're in that world, world and you don't want to come out. So, yeah. so it's, yeah. I think it's like you know if you actually relate to Batman, you know, Gotham is nothing but downtown Chicago yeah. or it's yeah. Chicago. Yeah. yeah, but there is it's it's Gotham. Yeah, so I think there's. There's a lot of a world play that is happening today in 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 Indian cinema as well. Yeah. If you look at movies like Bahubali, if you look at movies like um, Kalki. Kalki. Yeah. And and in a way, even if you look at Animal, yeah. so though there are characters which are around us, but after a point of time in that film, you're just with Ranveer. You're just in his family. You're like you're sitting in his in that room in his house. Yeah. So you just alienate people away from the present. Atmosphere and just take them into this fictitious world. Yeah. So I think that's 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 15 minutes into Devra. Yeah. You will be stuck in that world and you're going nowhere. So you you'll be there. You'll be in that in that world we've created. 